Finally this evening, I have a trivia question for okay. you, Scott. What long-running TV sitcom showed millions of Americans a secret be behind television news? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, who had the starring roles? Well, Scott, I'll give you a hint. She could take a nothing day and suddenly make it all seem worthwhile. Of course. The Mary Tyler Moore Show. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> what many of you probably don't know is that West Texas native Sonny Curtis wrote and sang the Mary Tyler Moore Show theme. This weekend, Sonny Curtis took a transatlantic trip back to his hometown of Meadow, which is about 40 miles southwest of Lubbock. And tonight, KMAX Chip May tells us about some other accomplishments Curtis has completed with the help of some other legendary Texas music makers. It seems nothing pleases a small town more than for one of its native sons to return home after becoming famous in the big city. This was the case Saturday night when Sonny Curtis returned to Meadow to sing in the annual Meadow Musical. You may not recognize his name, but probably recognize Sonny Curtis' music. Curtis has either sung with or written songs for music legends like Buddy Holly, Paul McCartney, Bing Crosby, Andy Williams, and Perry Como. Meadow Musical organizer George Ashburn said Curtis made a special trip from London to sing in his hometown. He was right here, and my wife got a hold to him. We've also got another one that was stayed around here a while is Glenn D. Harden, who is Elvis Presley's piano player. And we like to got him, but he's playing for John Denver tonight. Tony was raised just two blocks from this music hall. The Meadow musical began in Ashburn's living room 15 years ago. And this weekend, the event attracted more than 500 people to a downtown building in a town of nearly 600. In 1952, Curtis says his music career was launched by winning a Brownfield talent show. He was 14 years old. Today, Curtis lives in Nashville, but he won't let go of his West Texas roots. I started playing with Buddy Holly, and uh, I played with him for a while, and uh, left Buddy and went with uh, Slim Whitman, and uh, I played with the Everly Brothers for a while, and I started writing songs uh, in about 1957, and. Uh, I achieved a little success at that. I worked uh, with the Crickets and for five years we went on the road with Waylon Jennings and uh, opened the show for him. I, that was a tremendous experience for me. Uh, Waylon's an old friend from over here at Littlefield. I knew him when we started out together. And Tony Curtis' most famous song is one he wrote and sang for the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Who can turn the world on with a smile? You can take a nothing day and suddenly make it all seem worthwhile. Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it. With each glance and every little move that you show it, love is all around, no need to waste it. You can have the town, why don't you take it? You're gonna make it after all. Chip May, Action News Update. <laughs> Does Chip still have a job? I don't know. <laughs> Can you speak? <laughs> that does it for the late edition of the update. Thanks for staying up with us. Tomorrow night at 6 and 10. <laughs> I'll say it. Tomorrow night at 6 and 10, our Crime Line segment features an armed robbery at a Lubbock Pit Stop convenience store. On ABC's World News Tonight, uh, before tomorrow's evening report, a special investigative story on the problem fighter pilots are having with blacking out. Join Sharon and Jay again tomorrow, and have a great week. And uh, Valerie, we'll talk tomorrow. <laughs>